Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and today I am reviewing the Backpacks mod and this is a pretty cool mod especially for people like me. If you're anything like me, this mod is going to be really useful. Basically, um, what it does is it gives you backpacks you can put in your inventory and you can just put stuff on them. It's awesome and you can name them too which is kind of cool. Pat's Amazing Backpack. I know I like that name. Alright, here we go. So um, I'm opening this one right now. All you have to do is right click with it and you can put in, um, this one is a 27 slaughter, but there are giant ones as well which we'll take a look at, and I'll show you guys how to craft all these things, which is really easy. It's a really simple mod, but very useful. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so um, you're gonna need dyes to dye them different colors, because you can dye them many different colors, so many different dyes, many different color backpacks. Works well. Alright, so these are the different colors of the backpacks. There is a pink one, a gray one, a cyan, purple, blue, green, brown, light gray, red, just normal colored, which is kind of brownish. White, orange, light blue, yellow, and lime green. Which you have those all in the giant variety as well, which are awesomely cool. So pick up one of those, and like I said, all you have to do is go over to it, and right click, and huge inventory, and you can toss anything you want in there. See, it's in there now, and it's still in there. I know, nice tutorial on this. Alright, there we go. Um, There's also another cool one that you can make, though, and I'm going to show you guys how to make that, and that is the... Um, the Ender Backpack, which is kind of cool. Ender Backpack. So we're going to make one of those. Um, so let's do it. Why not? Let's get doing it. Here we go. Ender Chest in the middle. So all you're going to need for this, guys, is regular leather. Put in your Ender Chest in the middle, leather all the way around it, and you will have yourself an Ender Backpack. And this is really useful because, um, let me show you. This is pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to open this, and I'm going to put in my orange dye, right? I want to store that. It's very important. And then I'm like, oh, I don't have my backpack with me. Oh, there's my ender chest. Orange dies there. So this corresponds directly with your ender chest, which is pretty sick. So you can bring this with you um, wherever you go. It's just going to be a really great organizational thing. For someone disorganized like me, it's great. Like, I can use, like, purple for my flowers and my... <laughs> And my red for my bricks. I don't know. I, you can organize yourself much easier, and it's just useful in general. Um, there are two new leathers in the game. There is tanned leather and bound leather. And you're probably wanting, Pat, how the hell do I make those? And I'm going to show you. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is some string, which I actually have on me. Got some string here. And this is how you organize it. You make a nice little capital I shape out of it. And what you put in here is your regular leather, like that. And this will give you bound leather. And what does bound leather do? It doesn't do anything, I'll be honest with you. It doesn't really do anything. But bound leather is needed for this. All right, so you put in your bound leather like this, and this is going to turn into your tanned leather. And tanned leather is actually what you need to make um, a big backpack. I'll show you in a second once this is done, but I'll show you that this works perfectly. And there we go, tanned leather. Okay, so let's say you want to make a backpack. So this would be fairly simple. Um, you've got leather right here. Leather is your regular choice for a normal backpack go like this and that'll make you a regular backpack right so I made a regular backpack but let's say I want a what color do I want to, I want a cyan one because everyone wants the color cyan that's right all right so I'm like I want a cyan backpack more than anything ever so I take the cyan die I put that in the middle and then I put the leather around it and bam I have a cyan backpack and um as I showed you guys how to make the the bound leather no the tanned leather you do the same thing with tanned leather except it makes it gigantic big backpack I want a cyan one of those too and I've got a cyan one so it's really simple you could also actually change the color of your backpack so if you made a regular backpack and you're like damn I don't have any cyan dye with me but then you find some and you're like oh man I could finally make it I'm gonna need all that stuff that sucks no you don't you just need that and the backpack cyan backpack that's right pretty simple and you can do the same thing with the big one obviously you just put in a big backpack with that and what if you're like oh man I'm sick of this color I'm sick of it so you put that back in there, um, and you put it in with a regular leather, and you got a ba regular backpack back. But then you're like, I want to, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, you want to switch this color again to an orange dye, which you could do as well. So let's say the big cyan one. Oh, I don't want cyan anymore. I want orange. So pretty much it's extremely easy to switch the colors. And as I showed you, you can switch it back to the, the neutral brown color if you would like to as well. So these are the 27 slot ones. These are the 54 slot ones. Who the hell is going to want these ones when you make these giant ones? Of course, it is a bit of work to get the tanned leather. 
there is one other important feature to mention. It's like if you want to make this bigger, you couldn't make it big before, but now you're like, oh, crap, I wish I could have made a big backpack. Well, now that you have the materials, you can do it. All you're going to need is put your small backpack in there, and you can make it gigantic by filling it with sand leather, and now it's the same color, except it's giant now. So that works perfectly as well. Another cool thing you can do is name your backpack like I did before. Um, okay, so all you need to do is you need to crouch which is shift. I can never remember to do any of this stuff. And right click. No, left click. No. Okay, I'm wrong. Not shift. Oh shit, what I was trying to do was, I was trying to do the ender backpack. That one you can't name. Cannot name ender backpack. Alright, let me try this again. Shift, and then right click, name backpack, Pat's Sack. Yep, that's a great name. Okay, Pat's Sack. I know you like that name. Alright. Um, you can do that with any of these. As you can see, shift, right click, awesome, pack, so, nice spelling too, and you can name them. So you can be creative with it, um, plus what you could do is you could put like, um, let's just see. Let me grab this one. This is what I would do. I'd be like, this is my herb pouch. I don't know how many herbs there are on this game. Oh my god, I can't spell anything. Herb pouch. So I'd be like, herb pouch. So that way you could really organize these with names, which is extremely useful. You put like, building blocks, torches, and stuff, and you know, stuff like that. You know, that'll work really well. <laughs> that, that should be a, a nice organizational nest. So there's a lot of extra organization to it other than just the backpack itself because you could actually name them and then put that exact stuff in there and use it whenever you want. Of course, the Ender Backpack, probably one of the most useful things. You never have to go back to your house for all your important stuff because you could just bring the Ender Backpack with you. Sadly, guys, there is one downfall to this, and that is that um, you can't actually put the backpack on, which is a feature they might implement at some point. I think it's out of the form they were thinking about it, but you can't actually put this on, so I can't look all snazzy with my cyan backpack. But that's a shame, but it's still an awesome mod, and you guys can download it if you would like to in the description. But remember, guys, to um, subscribe for more videos like this, and feel free to comment and like the video. I'll see you guys later.